Welcome to the Hemmings Podcast. This week I had a chance to chat with three stakeholders from a film called A Small Section of the World. We get to talk to the filmmakers, the funders, and the community that was lifted up as a result of this film being made. The film was created by celebrated documentary director Leslie Chilcott and Illy Coffey. It's a great example of how an international company can authentically share its brand's values in a way that brings awareness to very important issues. A Small Section of the World is a documentary film that tells the story of a group of women from a remote farming region of Costa Rica. Their process and spirit sparked a revolution in the coffee growing world. After a crisis in the community, the men of the village were forced to leave in search for work. But the women came together to imagine a different future for themselves, for their families, and for their community. They did this by building their own coffee mill. Their collective was the first all-woman run micro mill in Costa Rica, something completely unique and revolutionary for the time. Ilya's original concept for the film originated from stories that Ilya agronomists would come back from after meeting with their new coffee farmers in the fields. They sent their agronomists out with cameras, but decided some of the stories were too important and just to be shot by novices. So they had to partner with a seasoned filmmaker. This is when celebrated filmmaker Leslie Chilcott was brought in. At first, Leslie was hesitant to work on this project because it was funded by a brand. I said, no, you know, I said, I can't do that. I said, I do commercials, you know, I, I will do very commercial projects and then I do documentaries, but I can't, I can't mix the two. And they said, well, but it's about this village of, of amazing women in Costa Rica and, and we have agronomists and we buy from 400 small uh, farm holders all over the world and we just want to tell one of the stories and, and by the way we're a sustainable company here's all the info but we don't want to tell that story we want you to do whatever you want after developing a trusting relationship with Illy Leslie decided to join the project and she was given full creative control and final cut not only that the folks at Illy didn't even want the Illy brand to be mentioned in the film at all they wanted to ensure the integrity of the story they did not want to make a brand commercial Paulo Bozignor, the marketing director at Illy Coffee, believes that there's so much content accessible to the world today that content needs to be great if you're going to produce it. He also believes that brands should have a really critical hand in making this content. It creates the environment that allows you to speak at another level to your audience. And I'm not talking about customers, I'm talking about audience on purpose because the the reality is that um, successful companies better have something interesting to share and better have an audience approach rather than a customer approach. The most interesting part to me is actually analyzing the impact that the film production process itself had on the community in the film and the impact that the actual release of the film had on the audience abroad. I had the chance to talk to Grace Mena, an independent coffee distributor in Costa Rica. She also appears in the film. There is a lot of impact because we, uh, people were not aware of the role of women in the coffee industry. I mean, it's like women were invisible, practically, until the film comes out and people say, oh my God, there's so much to be done here in this area of you know, getting uh, the money into the women's hands. Everybody involved in this film had the same goals in mind, to share the Asimobi story with a large audience. Illy is a shining example of a brand who wants to make content for the sake of story. For any of you who have not seen the film, visit asmallsectionoftheworld.com. To hear the full interviews with Leslie, Paolo, and Grace on our audio podcast, look up the Hemmings podcast on iTunes and visit hemmingshouse.com.